It's 12.30 in the afternoon. It's 12.30 in the afternoon right now. It's this dark. It's this dark. This is Wagstaff and Clark. We live that way. We don't know if uh, the house is there or not. We're in Kmart parking lot still. Um, we're in the middle of the parking lot. Uh, these new That's fires starting all these new fires now there's a video taken next to the Kmart on the day of the fires 1243 look at how dark it is but look at those embers circulate look at how they're going from right to left folks and when the camera pans out look at the smoke the smoke is going straight up so that means the wind the wind was not blowing from right to left but look at the embers look at how they organize and circle and they form in clusters this is what the gentleman angel look at that right there See in the lower by the firemen? That's what's, what they're talking about, is these, these self-organizing, programmable, artificial intelligence uh, amber, uh, ember firebots that uh, allegedly now is being thought of as the causal factor for burning down the uh, buildings, hitting one, hitting, hitting one and not hitting another. I mean, this is the new technology, the highly advanced technology that they've been using. Look at the fire. Look at how it organizes and creates its own sparking. And look at all the embers in there. Those could very well be all organized nanobots that are being programmed to attack one area and not another. And we have much evidence, and we're going to find, I'm sure, much more evidence that this is occurring in many of the fires we're seeing around the world going on now today. And we're also learning about all the companies that make the programmable artificial intelligent nanobots, not necessarily for fires. But look at the size of these things, folks. I mean, you're talking into the nanometer size in technology that is so tiny and so small that you need super special equipment, you need vacuum rooms, and you need uh, the knowledge base with, the, uh, with the, the math in order to assemble. Look at this is a fly next to a, a, a micro circuit nanobot. I mean, these things are tiny and tiny. All right, so this is at the Kmart. This is a 945 in the morning, the day of the fire. And look at this tree go up, folks. Look at this incinerate. Look at the base, the power, and then it explodes and goes straight up. Now you're telling me at 80 football fields a minute or 273 miles an hour and these flames are going straight up, the flame should be sideways. And why only this one tree? Why are not any of the other trees catching fire? And look at how hot it is, the yellow and the white. It's exploding. This is the nanotechnology that's wrapped around this single tree and it's exploding. Look at it explode up. Look at, you know, fires burn up. Yet this is starting at the base and staying at the base, already going to the top and then coming back and then eliminating, uh, 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 exuding this black smoke. Now it could be the black smoke is from some event next to it or behind it or something, we don't know. But again, if, it's, if the winds were so great, why, why aren't we seeing it turn sideways? Now this is the Kmart parking lot and look at the tree in the background. The ferns, the branches are still at the top of it. I mean, that thing was burning massive at white hot temperatures. And you're telling me that this single tree and the other trees didn't catch fire and the tree that was on massive fire didn't burn all of its branches off and all, all the ferns off of it? Remember how dry it's supposed to be? Now look at this picture. 
forest fire. Remember the winds, 273 miles an hour. This is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This is later in the day. The, the sky is cleared up. It's not like pitch dark in the mat in the black. But excuse me, folks, but, but this is not a forest fire by any means. We have so much evidence, it's ridiculous. Malibu area, if confirmed, it would be the fire's third known victim. Take a look at this, a surveillance camera capturing the final moments of a house in Malibu as the wildfire closed in last week. Embers swirling in the wind. The homeowner told our Fox station KTTV he got his family out safely with just the clothes on their backs, but the house they just remodeled months ago is gone.